All right, guys, let's see how we can solve question 100 from the second chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook. We have three cables that are used to uh, tether a balloon. As we can see, we need to determine the vertical force P exerted by the balloon at point A, knowing that the tension in cable AD is 481 newtons. So if you want to draw the free body diagram for point A, we have the force P that is upward and we have three tensions in these cables that we have TAB, TAC and TAD. So TAD we know is 481 newtons. We have three unknowns P, TAB and TAC which we need at least three equations in order to find the unknown. So we have a 3D questions and we are in equilibrium. So sum of all forces is equal to zero which means uh, we can do some of all forces in X, Y, and Z direction. So that's going to give us three different equations and we should be able to find the unknowns in this question and specifically the force P. So what we need in here is uh, we need each of these forces in a vector form. So let's start with P, which is the simplest one. So as we can see, uh, the P will be along Y positive y-axis so it would be basically p j and we have to do the same thing for the three tensions that we have for the cables let's start with tab so for finding tab in a vector format we need the magnitude which we don't know times the unit vector ab so we're gonna have tab times the unit vector would be ab over the magnitude of AB. So for AB, what we need to figure out is <clears throat> we are going from point A to point B and we have to figure out how we are moving uh, with regards to X, Y, and Z axis. <clears throat> so if you want to find the X component, we'll see that we are going from O to B. So we have uh, negative 4.2 that's going to be our x component and for y if you look at it we'll see we are going from a to o so along negative y direction so minus 5.6 j and since we are in x y plane there is no z component and the denominator is pretty easy 4.2 squared plus 5.6 squared so that's how we're going to find tab so we can simplify it a little bit more so um we basically have each of these divided by the denominator so 4.2 divided by a square root of 4.2 squared plus 5.6 squared that's going to give us 0.6, but we have a negative sign, so minus 0.6i. And we have the same thing for the j, except we have 5.6 in here. That's going to be 0.a and minus 0.a j, and the force will be, and this will be times the magnitude, and it will be Newton at the end as the unit. So we figure out one of them in a vector form. Uh, actually, the second one. So, so far we found P. Now we found TAB. And there's two more to go. Let's go with TAC. So same idea, TAC times the unit vector of AC, which will be, again, AC over the magnitude of AC. Now we have to move from A to C. And let's see how we are moving in X, Y, Z direction. So this is our AC. So for the X, we are moving from origin to here, which is what we have in here. And it's along positive. So point two point, uh, positive 2.4. And for the J, this is how we are moving in Y direction. So basically, we are going from A to O. We are in negative Y direction. And it will be minus 5.6 J 
and for the k this is how we are moving in y in k in z direction so 4.2 So our denominator would be 2.4 squared plus 5.6 squared plus 4.2 squared. So let's calculate each of these again. We have to divide each of them by the denominator. So 2.4 divided by the square root of 2.4 squared plus 5.6 squared plus 4.2 squared. So that's going to be 0.324i. Let's do 5.6. Don't forget we have a negative sign. So minus 0.756 or 757 j. And the last one would be 4.2, which is going to be plus 0.568k. And this will be all multiplied by TAC. And again, the unit will be Newton. So we found the third one. There is one more to go, and that would be TAD. But we already have the magnitude of TAD from the question 481. Newton times AD over AD, so 481 times. Uh, now we have to figure out everything for AD. So let's just clean it up. So regarding the X, we'll see that since the point D is on Z axis, we are not moving along X axis, so there is no X. Uh, for Y, we are doing the same thing going from A to O minus 5.6 J. And for the Z, we are moving from O to D along the negative Z axis and it will be 3.3. So minus 3.3 K. And denominator 5.6 squared plus 3.3 squared Let's see what we get for TAD. So 481 times 5.6 divided by the square root of 5.6 squared plus 3.3 squared. And we had a negative sign for J, so minus 414.4J. And what we have for y is 3.3, and again we have a negative sign minus 244.2k, uh, and this will be Newton. So now that we have every force in unit, uh, in vector form we have sum of all forces, and x is equal to 0, and same for y and z. So let's see what we have in X. So the first force, P doesn't have any X. TAB has minus 0.6 TAB. Don't forget to multiply TAB in each of them. So uh, minus 0.6 TAB. Let's go TAC. We have 0.324 TAC. And the last one, AD, doesn't have any I component so uh, we cannot find anything because we have two unknowns in here let's move on to FY again equals zero so for FY we have P which is what we are trying to figure out TAB has minus point A TAB TAC has minus 0.75 7 TAC and TAD has minus 4 14.4 that will be equal to zero same scenario we cannot find anything in here sum of all forces in Z equals zero let's see what we get in here P doesn't have any Z 
TAB doesn't have any Z, TAC has Z, so 0 0.568 TAC, and we also have the Z component of TAD minus 2 or 4.2 is equal to 0, and here we can find TAC. So, so we're just going to divide that by 0 0.568. So TAC is going to be 429.93 Newton. We found the first unknown. If we put in the FX, we can find TAB. So TAB in here would be 0 0.324 uh, TAC over 0 0.6. So we're just going to multiply by 0 0.324. And we're going to divide it by 0 0.6, 232. So that's going to be 232.16. And now we can find P in here, which will be 414.4 plus 0 0.757 TAC, which was 429.9 plus TAB 0.8 times. 32.16 and that should give us the p that we are looking for so 414.4 plus 0.757 times 429.9 plus 0.8 times 232.16 and this is gonna give us 925.56 newton and the final answer for this question or the P that we were looking for and the direction would be upward. And yeah, final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.